when it comes to life partner love romance relationship there is one thing which is very important and that is compatibility a good compatibility between both the partners be it love be it relationship even for that matter if it's like a business partnership compatibility plays the key role for a long term and a very steady stable relationship let's understand today as per the astrology what are the factors which are responsible for uh, these compatibilities and how can you easily analyze and how can you easily see just based on the zodiac signs just based on the key zodiac signs which you would know all you need to know is the moon sign now moon sign is very important you have to know your moon sign and your partner's moon sign moon sign represents uh, overall personality of a person the way the person thinks the way the person carries themselves in social life and also moon represents mind thinking ability what is the other person thinking if you know the other person's moon sign you can easily decode other person's or your partner's personality very easily and this is one of the biggest struggle in lot of marriage lot of relationship when the relationship fails it fails because you know we are unable to understand the other person what are their personality what's their zodiac sign sometimes we initially we you know love attracts so we uh, get into a relationship with someone very easily but after 6 months 1 year 5 years things are not the same as it was in the past and things change why do these things change why we are we fail to understand the zodiac signs and their elements so this video this topic will help you to understand the zodiac elements and the zodiac signs in those elements i will try to make this video very simple very easy for you by the end of this video you will clearly be able to understand the zodiac signs and i can give you the confidence that from today you would analyze a lot in your office in your home in your uh, you know school college university in your everywhere you are this is the the mantra of the basic foundation of of the vedic astrology starts with the elements when i teach astrology to my students in the very second or third lecture of my astrology course involves us this the elements basically how to see the elements what are the elements so very interesting video we'll start this video my name is gautam your host for this your channel uh, doing live from uh, canada and uh, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing it now and click the like button let me know you guys are watching this video your fantastic fantastic audience and my great friends hit the like button let me know we have four elements when it comes to the nature we have five elements that and they are fire earth air water and sky these are the five elements which are there in the entire existence the entire existence the entire world beat everything is made up of these five elements now out of five elements astrology considers the vedic astrology considers these four elements fire earth air and water and in these four elements we have the 12 zodiac signs which are there so i have drawn this table and if you see my description of this video i have made some notes for each and every zodiac sign to read for you if you want to read you can read after watching this video okay so the idea is that every element is different in its nature like fire people are very aggressive people are very active physically mentally people are very proactive with the fire element earth element people are very stable in relationship but with some materialistic gains and desire air element has some quality water element has some qualities we'll discuss everything in detail today and uh, for the very first thing which you have to do right now is to see where is 
moon placed in what zodiac sign in your chart or in your partner's chart where is the moon placed moon sign we are talking about the moon sign this is not western astrology you will never find western astrology stuff on my this channel because i follow the vedic indian astrology very strongly uh and we will you know try to understand these zodiac signs the very first element is fire element comment below let me know if your moon sign is aries leo or sagittarius these three zodiac signs have the fire element which is very strong in their zodiac sign which i mean to say is that their personality is more fire based now what is fire fire means that these three zodiac signs aries leo and sagittarius these three zodiac sign people if your moon sign is aries leo or sagittarius then you will be the go getter of of your relationship you will be so active you will take proactive decisions you will plan things if you want to go for a date or if you are planning to go for uh, go to a restaurant if your moon sign is aries leo sagittarius you will decide which place to go and you will be very quick you will be very fast you will pick up the phone do the research okay these are five restaurants in this area mm -mm, this is five star review three star review okay let's go here you will take very proactive decisions and you will jump into like decision making and you will make it very fast and quick so fire element has that energy it's very energetic see the thing is every element has some pros and cons right some advantages some and some disadvantages we'll discuss everything how to improve and what are the good qualities the best quality is definitely you know very good energy levels uh, very proactiveness uh, you know go getter always keep going on and on and unstoppable aries leo and sagittarius moon sign people they never call it off in any relationship and these people are very good with uh always you know supporting the partner helping others in a very positive way so aries leo and sagittarius and the the the, the amount of uh, fire in aries is at the peak like aries fire is 100% fire and then comes is leo little less than that and then comes is sagittarius sagittarius has the fire but the fire within them is very very mild okay so if you are like aries leo or sagittarius as a partner uh i would say that you know you have to the the disadvantage or you know the thing which you have to really work in life is that you have to stop taking uh stress and you might get frustrated for small things you might get anger or frustration issues for small small things so you have to be very careful with these things okay but these are like very good sign uh specifically leo has a fire and leo has a very good leadership quality so they really uh kind of maintain a lot of balance in their relationship aries has 100% fire so aries aries becomes very dominating sometimes they don't believe in defense they believe in attack aries people will always attack they are ready for the argument they are always have that uh fight mode not flight mode fight mode or the aggression mode which is always on so aries has to pacify their you know their aggression in mind and how they can do like you know uh, meditation is very good uh, they can use some of their lucky crystals to pacify they can use uh, they can do like connect with the nature or you know there are a lot of remedies for aries as a moon sign to become the best version of their life when it we we say relationship what's your moon sign let's comment below let's see what is your moon sign and uh, how which are the zodiac signs which would be more compatible for you if your fire if your fire if your moon sign is fire then one of the best match or one of the best compatibility for fire is air which is gemini libra and aquarius 
if you are aries moon leo moon or sagittarius moon one of the best compatibility for for you is gemini libra or aquarius because it's air what does fire need how can how can fire start fire cannot start without oxygen or without air so in order for fire to uh, to light up a fire we need air so you know you have to understand the logic behind these elements if you decode the logic if you understand the logic then you can become the master of of you know the vedic astrology or any form of astrology fire loves air fire needs air if fire stops getting air then fire extinguishes correct comment below let me know if this makes sense to you and if you have any questions please feel free to type below and i will certainly get back to you so air element let's discuss air like if your moon sign is gemini libra or aquarius then you will be very intellectual in partnerships you will be the one who is very communicative very good in communication skills very good in interpersonal and intrapersonal skills in your love marriage and relationships you will gather a lot of information in your life you will also be very smart when it comes to technology or new things new updates in life new things in life so air element plays a uh, air element people like if your moon sign is air element gemini libra or aquarius then you will do a lot of homework a lot of research work um, in your life right so air and fire fire and air they are perfect they are fantastic uh and specifically gemini libra and aquarius if your moon sign is gemini libra or aquarius you tend to get confused one of the problem of you is decision making you cannot decide things very easily even for small things if you go for shopping you will have two products so you will compare okay this is for this much this is for this much should i buy this or this okay let me buy this but and when you walk three steps ahead and you will come back keep the old product back and buy the other one it's that much of a confusion for air element zodiac sign specifically gemini libra and aquarius comment below if let me know if you are a gemini libra or aquarius because you might be still be confused whether should you comment below yes or no because fire element zodiac signs have already commented below all my friends who have fire element they are very proactive they are like let's type some message for gotham and let's ask some question or just you know just comment something but air element if your element you are still very confused to whether to comment yes or no <laughs> let me know if that's true now uh air is good i would say uh the only thing which you can improve is you know start taking quick decisions in life don't waste uh, much time and just just take quick decisions and move forward because sometimes you are confused between like in love or relationship you might get confused between like you know your with your partner your partner would propose but air element people gets confused like should i accept the offer should i say yes or no and typically you know which is that zodiac sign which says no on the day of marriage like when we go to the church or cathedral you know when the couples come together uh they ask uh, do you would you wish to marry yes or no so the zodiac signs which quickly says yes is fire and water the zodiac signs which says no is air it's it's the air moon sign as gemini moon sign as libra or moon sign as aquarius all right now the next zodiac sign is let's discuss about earth earth is taurus virgo and capricorn these three these three zodiac signs if your moon sign is taurus virgo or uh, capricorn uh, there is a a bit of i would say challenges to become very creative in your love romance and relationship these three th- signs are not very creative when it comes to romance but these three signs are mature 
these three signs are very good in stability if i always say in all my video that if you want to make a friend make a taurus friend because a taurus friend will never never break your trust will never break your relationship will never break your friendship taurus friend virgo friends one of the best friends in my life i have many friends who are taurus friends who are virgo friends they are my best friends since my childhood they fall under this category comment below or share this video with your taurus or virgo friends or capricorn friends and they would be happy to see that yes they are the best friends to be and one thing which the earth element can improve is they should stop getting materialistic they should not get more materialistic in in their life like whenever it's like love romance relationship money will be there in their mind they will be very calculative and one thing which we have to understand is love is not calculative love doesn't come from uh come from like calculations or logic or analytical no love comes from heart love comes from your emotion emotion is number one thing like if you are very stably emotional with the other person you will do fantastic and who has emotions that's the water element the most creative imaginative daydreamers very emotional babies cancer scorpio pisces if your moon sign is cancer you will be utmost emotional sensitive a small thing which has been told by your partner and not in a pleasant way or in a slight rude way a very slight rude way or a slight thing cancer moon sign people will take it very seriously very sensitively they will start crying specifically pisces moon sign people with moon sign as pisces very emotional they will start crying very soon like just for like small things they will start crying water element is overall very good with earth okay water element is good with earth element because earth is stability water element is over emotional so earth can control water very easily water and fire is not good because what if you put fire in water the fire extinguishes right or what if you put like lot of water on the fire or fire gets off so that's why water and fire is not a good combination overall so water element is more watery more emotional more sensitive air element is very logical analytical they are the gossip kings or queens if you are an air element and your partner is also air, air element then you both are like soul mates you will keep gossiping a lot midnight time morning you get up good morning on your, over your coffee or tea you will start gossiping about things news nature friends social life everything so if you're air element then you're the big gossip people and you love gossiping <laughs> right the communication can never stop very talkative if you are air element moon sign you'll be very talkative and if your partner is water element they will be quiet they will quite was we typically see right in in relationship like one partner is very dominating other partner is less dominating it depends on the uh, these these elements one partner is uh, very very talkative other partner is like very quiet one partner is good with technical things other partner is not very tech savvy so it all happens it all happens we don't have like the best perfect partnership or compatibility uh this little bit plus or minus is always there i hope you agree with this point because uh, this is very important point
uh when it comes to like you know match making in astrology so we we do like you know in in couple of my readings i do the match making in which we check your chart and your partner's chart and we try to analyze what are the strengths and weaknesses of this is your chart there will be certain sun strengths sun weaknesses your partner's chart some strengths weaknesses and we try to match both and see and try to get the juice out of it that what are the do's and don'ts in any specific relationship and this thing this secret astrological formula is very helpful to boost the romance relationship in any 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 love any marriage to improve because you will improve only when you understand the other partner unless and until you don't understand your soulmate or your partner then till that time you are still like confused uh like air element <laughs> so elements and their information is is very interesting very uh critical when it comes to like you know uh you know matching compatibility now there are two things one is sometimes you know we fall in love with someone but when we fall in love with someone we don't know their zodiac sign uh we just you know we call it as like love at first sight now in your birth chart in your in your birth horoscope chart if the planet of like marriage relationship or you call it as the navamsha d9 if the placements are good then automatically you will get a very compatible partner like your element your zodiac signs and your astrology and the partner's astrology both will be like very good this is a universal law this is like very natural but at the back of your chart if the planets are not placed well even if you like you know you analyze the charts and you you say okay yeah this is a good element for me to be in love or get married still there will be like divorce or separation or problems so the birth chart is also plays a very very key role very significant role uh, after the you know this moon signs and uh, the personality all right so i hope i was able to um uh, explain the the elements and you were you know able to understand it very nice and easy if you're just joining it now i can see a lot of friends are joining it thank you so much hit the like button let me know your you are um uh you know you were watching this video uh i see some of the comments that uh, uh yes my partner is fire element and i am an air fire and air very good that's a very good combination uh jessica says i am a pisces sun and scorpio moon taurus rising scorpio moon you are under the water element very psychic very intuitive very emotionally sometimes balanced depending upon where is uh, mars placed and where is uh, you know scorpio placed in your birth chart if you are a taurus rising then definitely scorpio is in your uh, your moon sign is scorpio right yeah your moon scorpio moon uh, taurus rising scorpio moon which means your moon is in the 7th house so that's a that's a pretty good very good combination which you have taurus rising moon in the 7th house good partnership you know partnership gets better over there let's see which uh, rain cloud says taurus are very loyal and faithful one of the best tip says sagittarius mm. okay jessica says moon in the 6th house okay moon in 6th is uh, moon in the 6th house get slightly i would say weak not like the best house but it depends like what is the degree what nakshatra it is into uh, give the final verdict of the moon but still it is it is not that bad it's good oh we have someone as moon sign pisces that's good 
All right, so I hope uh, this was all good. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for a wonderful audience. And uh, it was great, great chatting with every one of you. And I will see you tomorrow. We'll uh, try to do another new topic on palmistry or astrology. Any suggestions, please put in, in the comment box. Like what are the, the topics you want me to make the video? Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day or you know, have a great, wonderful evening. Goodbye.